So same profit or loss, we got to know what is profit, what is loss and how to find it. Here, the profit and loss as percentage, we are going to learn it as a percentage. So percentage is the before topic that what we learned in the last uh, month, that is chapter 9 to our percentage. So we know how to do the percentage. So let's recall and then get into the how we, we are going to apply the percentage in profit and loss. Okay. So profit and loss are often expressed as a percentage of the cost to price. So based on what we will express, based on the cost to price, we will ex express the profit or loss in the percentage. So there is a percentage formula. So percentage of profit is equal to profit by cost to price into 100. Percentage of profit is equal to profit by cost to price into 100. Profit percentage of loss. So profit we learned. Profit percentages. Percentage of uh, profit by cost to price into 100. So same like that. Percentage of loss is equal to loss divided by cost, cost price into 100. Percentage of loss is equal to loss divided by cost price into 100. So next one, the symbol we use for percentage is this. Okay, the symbol we use for percentage is this. We already know that. We will just recollect. So basic of the percentage. Then we will get to know how to apply it in the profit or loss. Okay. So we calculate percentage by 100. So we calculate percentage for 100. That's all we have to know about percentage. Let's learn how we are going to apply the profit or loss percentage uh, using the percentage. Okay, so find the profit and loss and percentage. So find the profit or loss we learned here. Find the profit and loss in percentage. How we are going to do in the percentage. So a book is sold for rupees 450. Okay, sorry, a book is bought for a book is bought for 450 and sold for rupees 495. Find the percentage of profit. So they have given cost price and the selling price. We have to find the profit percentage. So what is the formula? Cost price, first take and write the data. Cost price of the book is rupees 450 and selling price of the book is rupees 495. And profit, that is the difference of the two is 45 rupees. Because in the uh, formula, we have to apply the profit. Okay, so we are, have to find the profit. So 9495 minus 450 is 45. So percentage of profit is equal to profit divided by cost price into 100. Percentage of profit is equal to profit divided by cost price into 100. Now take and write the numbers where it is needed. So profit is 45, the cost price is 450 into 100 percentage because I am going to convert it to percentage, right? So let's cancel 40 by 45 by 450. So 40 by, uh, 45 by 450 will become cancelling by uh, 45 tables. So it will become 1 by 10. So again, it will be cancelled with that. 100 because it is in the denominator when we are cancelling that it will become 10 percentage so the profit percentage is 10 the profit percentage of the book is 10 percentage so just go through it from the beginning let's do a recall uh, a book is bought for rupees 450 and sold for 495 find the percentage of profit so we know the cost price, selling price. From that, we are finding the how much we learned uh, got as a profit. So after that, we have to apply that in the formula of percentage of profit because there it is a profit. So we have to apply the formula for profit. So formula for it is profit divided by cost price into 100. So now we know the formula. We have the uh, data. So we have to just take an apply and simplify. So 45 divided by 450 into 100 percentage. When we are simplifying it, we will get as 10 percentage. Therefore, the profit percentage of the book is equal to 10 percentage. Okay. Let's see what we got next. So we have uh, learned about how to solve the profit. Let's learn about loss. So Ganesh bought a scooter for 
45,000. Okay, Ganesh bought a scooter for 45,000 and sold for 40,000. So, in that itself, we know that it's a loss. So, we have to find the loss of percentage. So, cost price of the scooter is 45,000 and selling price of the scooter is equal to 40,000. So, loss of this two is 5,000. And next, what we have to do, we have to apply in the formula of percentage of loss. Percentage of loss is equal to loss divided by cost price into 100. Now, take and write, loss is equal to 500 divided by cost price. Cost price is 45,000. Both is multiplied with the 100 percentage. So, down, now do the simplification. Three zeros, three zeros will get cancelled. And one fives are five, nine fives are 45. So, 1 by 9 into 100 percentage. Again, it will be simplified. So, you will get 11.11 percentage. So, percentage of loss we got is 11.11 percentage. Therefore, the loss percentage of the scooter is 11.11 percentage. So, when Ganesh bought a scooter for 45,000 and sold it for 40,000, there is a loss. So, that loss we are applied with the formula under simplified and after that we got the answer that is the loss percentage of the scooter is 11.11 percentage. Clear? So, are you clear with the profit and loss and the profit and loss and percentage? Sure? Shall we move for the last one? Yes, we have in the last topic that is bill. So, which is most important in the topic of money. Uh, because this is the life skill that is we are learning uh, for our throughout life, life of we are going to use to operate the money. So, let's start what is bill. Uh, when we go for shopping, we buy many things, right? Yes, obviously. So, in, in the end, we pay money using the bill amount. Is it right? So, if you are going by buying one thing, two for the two things or uh, uh, 10 or 20, how many things we may bought in the shop, but at the end, we have to pay the money. We will pay the money using the bill. If you have, if you have observed it, they will give you a bill. Based on that money amount, you will pay for the shopkeeper, right? So, that is the bill amount. So, this is how it will be looks like. Like item, quantity, rate and amount. And finally, the total. So, let's learn one by one what is uh, item, quantity, rate and amount. So, bill is the total amount for the items we bought. As I said, it is the total amount. Based on the uh, things we bought, the, they will give you a final amount like which how much we have to pay. That is the bill. Uh, the bill is the total amount for the items we bought. Rate is for one item. See here, where is the, this is the total amount, right? Bill is the total amount. As I said, in the end, which is the total, we will pay that. Then, rate is the, for one amount. The rate is there, right? That is for one amount. Like a potato means there is a 5 kg. It's not for 5 kg. It's for 1 kg. Okay. For one item. So, the rate is for one item. Which is given as a rate. That is for one item. And next one. Quantity. So, quantity is how much we bought. Like a, I bought a 5 kg of potato. 5 kg of rice. And 1.5 liters of oil like that the amount how much we bought okay that is called the quantity are you clear with the total amount the rate and quantity okay so finally we have amount amount means is it